A new poll from the Civitas Institute shows McCrory is leading Dalton 46 to 29 percent among unaffiliated voters. Ten percent said they would support libertarian Barbara Howe. The margin of error is just under five percent. Civitas President Francis DeLuca says many voters just don't know who Dalton is. Democratic strategist Brad Crone says such independent voters will play a larger part in this election. In 2008, you had basically 23 percent of all votes cast in the general election of 2008 were unaffiliated. In this election cycle, it could be 24.5 percent, as high as 25 percent of all the votes cast are unaffiliated voters. So that really shows why the independent unaffiliated voter is going to be the path to election for either party. Crone says another factor will be many more affiliated voters crossing over to the other party. I mean, we're seeing crossover votes there at the top of the ticket that are huge, 22, 23 percent. Self-identified Democrats saying they're going to vote for Romney and that they're going to vote for McCrory. And uh, we've got to figure that out. That's me. That's that's my demographic. It's your white, moderate, self-identified, pro-business, conservative uh, Democrat. And uh, Democrats, to win, have to stop that crossover, reduce that crossover. He says that's also translating into more contributions for McCrory. You, you go through and look at the donor base uh, in eastern North Carolina that McCrory's been able to tap, and it's been primarily donors who have traditionally, for the last 12 years, really probably the last 20 years, have supported Democrat candidates for governor. The poll doesn't reflect the same effect for Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. It shows he is in a dead heat with President Obama among unaffiliated voters. Crone says while many voters have locked in their choice at the top of the ticket, that is not the case for the races from the lieutenant governor on down. I'm Matt Willoughby.